Gentlemen, we can rebuild him. We have the technology. We have the capability to make the world's first bionic man. And this is the end result of Flight 5. Gust of wind here. Plowed straight, straight, straight. Can we rebuild her? I'm using metal skewers and they've got a lot of give. So they can bend. The first thing I do is gonna use these skewers. Okay, using my snips. I managed to cut them up into various different sizes. And with them, I'm now starting to place them. In we go, like that. That's four in so far. Both both sides are equal. So that's 50%. You can see the other 50% is inside. Not glued at the moment, obviously. So I'm hoping that will be enough. Mixture of fiberglass and some skewers and what you can see sticking out is 50% so what you've got sticking out you've also got in there this is my Bixler 2 fixed after the nose cone came off if you can see here the joint the same on the other side On both sides, actually, for the servos, just here, because it didn't line up absolutely correctly, I just had to cut maybe two or three millimetres into that to give it some clearance on both sides. But really, that's about the only extra cutting I had to do on the whole project. This is the port side, and there's the join. Lots and lots of five minute glue. Here's the bottom. The join here is completely covered. And what I did over the join, in this position here where my thumb is, and this position here, is I dug two grooves out and I put some more of the carbon fiber. Steve Austin will be that man. Better than he was before. Better. Stronger, faster. Okay, so that was a test flight completed and absolutely no problems whatsoever. As you can see, all the joints have held up absolutely perfectly, rigid as anything, flew perfectly. <laughs>